Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for May. And uh, this is a general reading that could help anyone who is Pisces sun, moon, or rising sign. And perhaps there's something of value uh, to you from what the cards are going to show us for May. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands and we have the Nine of Swords. So the Page of Wands, we see this youthful page um, glowing in this orangey red color and that is indicative and symbolic of your passions and of your enthusiasms and of your desires in life. And the page is this um, young person who is not yet mastered the element or the suit and needs experiences and needs adventures and and needs to build really his his resume of experience so with the page we're often looking at this desire to bring in the experience we are um, uh, genuine and and seeking these opportunities from a place where we want to have the experience and we want to have the wisdom. So what does that mean for you on Wednesday? It means that perhaps that there's something that you've been thinking about doing, a project, um, something new that is going to make you feel pretty excited about doing it. And you may be um, putting the, the, the plan into action, making calls, uh, doing things, but there's a sense of movement and action and um, going forward. And that page is this just youthful energy that is so uh, desiring of experience and adventure and new things coming his way, his or her way. And so with this page next to the Ace of Wands, it's like the Ace of Wands has been dropped from the universe, which we know that aces are gifts or blessings from the universe, saying to you, you have power. You have personal power within your life. Take this wand and go and create. Tap into your inspiration. Tap into your deepest um, hopes of things that you want to do, things that, that you want to accomplish, places that you want to travel to. You know, uh, here's your chance. This is saying, take it and run with it. Go out there and make it happen. And whether you are, again, seeking travel, if you are looking to expand in your career, or if you're thinking of, um, other learning opportunities, things that you want to um, add on to your resume or a part of your skill set. The Ace of Wands is saying, take this wand and go make it happen. It's a really powerful card because it's just saying that you have what you need to go out there to create and to create the things that you're passionate about because that's what the wands are about. The fire, and you can see the fire in these illustrations, both of these. So as you're thinking about what it is in the adventure or the experience that you want to bring into your life, how you want to add in creativity or enterprise and uh, just this new sense of, of, of fun, having some fun. Here we have the interesting Nine of Swords card, which is kind of the, I can't sleep at night, I'm worried card. And, or I feel guilty, or I've just got so much pressing down on me that it's stressing me out. Because what does this card show? Worry, concern, guilt. It's the stuff and the things that keep us up at night. And that weigh on us that when we would go to bed we might be thinking about a situation that when we wake up we may be thinking about the same situation that it it doesn't uh, just disappear it's stuff that's really hanging around 
and the nine of swords you know in this illustration we we do see some light let me put my glasses on here we see the swords here and we see some light and she has her light so you know not all hope is lost is that yes we acknowledge that we have these stressful moments that we have times when we let everything on our shoulders but if we think about um, if we think about slowly trying to get out of that and perhaps the message here today is when you're feeling the sense of guilt or worry or the stress the 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 issues that keep you up at night that if you can sit down take the time and tap into your creativity to tap into your heart listen to what's beneath the surface of what you really want to do have a plan think about how you're going to make it happen you may need a ray of sunshine you may need a burst of inspiration and it may be simply coloring in a mandala a mandala however you say that or it could be doodling in a coloring book it could be sketching or painting something to bring you out of this sense of worry or stress and how can we do that we can do that through creativity we can do it through pursuit of new opportunities or activities it's a nice way that when you know when when I'm feeling stressed out if I can just shift out of what I'm worried about and do something else whether I'm playing my guitar or you know writing or simply reading it's things that I really love to do then it does temporarily make me worry less makes me feel less stressed out and then I might be might even be able to be in a position to sit and really think about how am I going to alleviate this how am I going to make this better so the page of wands the six seeking experience ace of wands take that wand and create make it happen don't wait for it to come to you go out and get it and at the same time something's been on your mind something may have been keeping you up at night and you know this is the uh, it's, it's a minor arcana card so these are things that we deal with in our routine of living so find a way to cope with it do something that where you can start to raise your energy and your vibration and your mindset out of the the place of worry so uh, interesting reading and you know I I'm happy to see the ace of wands always happy to see that because that's really to me that's like a kick in the behind to not waste opportunities to do things and to create and to um, really listen to what it is that makes you happy to tune into yourself number wise let's take a look at what we have we have one two and nine eleven and eleven is a master number it's the master number of service of being altruistic of being generous and kind and that's so much more than just writing a check it could be donating your time or your energy or simply doing a kind act for someone listening um, being a shoulder for someone to cry on uh, uh, offering to assist it's just the small things where you are where you are of service and uh, people respond to that and then it may in turn inspire them to be of service as well so to close the reading I'm going to choose an Oracle card and we'll get a little more information for the day trusting heaven 
You are safe. Angel, stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So surrender your concerns and trust the process, perhaps. Trust yourself. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the universe. Um, but don't let the sleepless nights or the anxiety derail you from pursuing uh, your hopes or dreams or being the creative person that you are. You know, we all have these type of days. So um, find the best way that you can handle it and then move forward and focus on the beautiful fire side, which is action, momentum, drive, ambition, uh, things that we want to do that make us feel good and feel make us feel happy. So I hope you found something helpful today. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment, and come back tomorrow for another reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.